In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to do the crinkle stitch. And the crinkle stitch looks like it's all interwoven. Now, you may think we've covered this before. In actual fact, this is another variation. The wonderful thing about the crinkle stitch is, is that it's the same on both sides. So no matter what you do on one side, it's going to look the same. Now, this is almost similar to when we did the ripple stitch and the difference of the ripple stitch versus this one is that the ripples are not on the underside they're only on one side causing the material to kind of like fold in and out and be awkward we kind of did something similar with the basket weave and you can see that we're using the techniques shown in the crinkle stitch in order to create it but you can see that it's a completely different look and also what is very similar is the rib stitch here and this again this is double sided just like the other ones um, but the lines are going straight up and down where this one here you don't ever see anything like that because the lines are going in and out causing the crinkle look when we look at the crinkle stitch here what we're looking at here is actual uh, material that is bending over top of each other I always call it a yarn pig when that happens because what because if you look at here this stitch here is overlapping another stitch down here so it causes the material to actually be a lot more thicker than normal and it causes the material to grow slower as a result so I always call it a yarn pig because the material is overlapping so let's uh, start off with a slip knot and we'll get started Hi there everybody, it's Mikey from Mikey's Mail and together with my friends at All Free Crochet and I we'd like to introduce you to the crinkle stitch. So this uh, crinkle stitch is in sets of two so no matter what you do keep it in sets of two. This does not count as one. Let's grab the material and go one, two. And what your goal here is to figure out how many times that you want to go one, two until you get to the length that you want. So one, two. One, two one two so you know what I'm saying just keep going one two one two one two until you get to the size that you want there's virtually no shrinkage on this at all so you can lay it out to a full-size afghan a baby's blanket anything like that and you will get really great results so I think I'm done there so one and two and when you finally get to the length that you feel most comfortable with please add one so just one so there you go, there's your starting line, and let's move on to your Okay, next. so we need to create the foundation in order to get this to start. So in order to do that, we have to double crochet. So what I do is, see how where the stitch is coming out of? I hold my finger, my back finger, my index finger, and my thumb in a position just like holding it. And so now what I want to do is chain three. So one, two, and three. And right where my finger is holding is the first stitch that I want to go into. Or it is the third one back from the hook whatever you decide. I just think for it's just a lot easier to hold your finger there instead of counting. So we're just going to double crochet ourselves. So let's review double crochet really quickly. Going into the stitch, there is tutorials available on how to double crochet. Grabbing the material, again, pulling it through. You'll have three on your hook. Pull it through two and two. So what I want you to do is double crochet yourselves all the way to the end of the line. We'll catch back up and we'll begin to start our crinkle. This is a very quick tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. Really a simple idea, but really quality results as you can see in the background. So we've come all the way to the end and now we're just gonna rotate the material, just like so. And we're now looking at the other side. So let's chain up two. We normally, we're gonna be double crocheting and normally we always chain up three, but because we are crinkling and we're coming down below the line we're actually not going to be as high so you can't chain up your three because what will happen is your your edge will end up like a bowl shape and therefore being distorted so let's go one and two only and now these are called posts the train track looking things are called posts and so when you grab the post from the front side it's called front post when you grab it from the back side it's called back post so you will see that in the patterns we also have uh, tutorials on that on all free crochet and mikey's mail so what we're doing here to crinkle it is that we're going to be reversing every other one so let's just start off in the front so let's just grab the material we're going to double crochet the front post so grabbing the front just like so going through and pull through two and two so the stitch, as you can see, pulls down, and on the back side, it actually causes the front to kind of fold over. And that's what's giving the look. So let's uh, review that again. So let's grab the material. Now we're going to go into the back post next. So grabbing the material, we're going to flex the material coming through towards you, and then back out again on the outside on the back. And this looks really complicated, but it's actually a lot more simpler. You just have to get your technique. 
So let's review again. So coming in the front, so we're just going to stick your needle in through the post area, coming out the other side of the post, grabbing the material, pulling it through two and two. So now the next one is in the back. So grabbing the material, going around to the back, pulling it, putting it through the front of the material, flexing it so that it's capturing the post on the back side, pulling it through two and two. So the front, and the back. Do you understand that? So what I want you to do now is just go all the way down the line going front and back. So just opposite to each other. Okay, we'll meet back up at the end and uh, we're almost done this tutorial. This one is a really quick one and uh, really fabulous ideas. So we're coming near to the end and again we're just reversing every other one. So back and this one and again, this is all technique. It takes you a little bit of getting used to playing with the post, but once you, you understand it, you get to understand where to grab in order to flex the material really quickly. So we have two posts left. We have this one, and then this is the chaining that started the double crochet. We are never gonna use the front or the back post when it comes to the very last chain uh, post, if that makes any sense. So you now have the chain here. So what we're just gonna do is half double crochet so going right into the actual chain do not go into the gap but go into the chain going in and now pull through all three that's a half double crochet so we never ever do the actual outside one so let's rotate it okay and you can see now that there it's starting to have three-dimensional look to it it's actually really great so now we're gonna do our uh, chain up and again it's only two one and two because we're now working with posts now the first one is coming at you, the next one is coming behind you, so now what we want to do is reverse everything again. So because this one is jumping in your face, you want to now grab that one from behind and pull it backward. Just like so. So now this one here is, the next one is in behind, so now you want to pull that forward. Do you understand? So the next one's in front of you, so the next one will be from behind. So every time you go past a line on one, you just want to reverse exactly what is already there. So the next one's in front of you, so you want to pull it from behind. And so on. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. This one's a really quick one. It really is fabulous results on the crinkle stitch. It's a really easy way to really make your stitching look complicated. Uh, give it some really good three-dimensional looks and uh, also you know just it really actually thickens up your yarn because you are overlapping it's a bit of a yarn pig as uh, some of the other stuff working with posts tend to be uh, but a really great way of thickening up what you got and uh, really creating some incredible results so good luck on that and this is another free tutorial available from allfreecrochet.com and mikey's mail have a great day everybody mm -hmm.